Let's get back to the Cayman Islands, shall we? There's just something about looking at people's vacation photos. I enjoy it. I enjoy that and looking at pictures of people's kids, believe it or not. If you have any pictures of your kids, I'll look at them after the show. Like, I really do. Send I'll look through in. a thousand of them. Yeah. I just like it. Well, they're so joyous, aren't oh, they? Oh, they're so yeah. happy and they're soft and smooshy. So, uh, vacation was absolutely beautiful, it seemed. We've got some beautiful shots from where you guys stayed. This is one of them. This tells me everything I need to know about your trip. Uh, lounging Ooh. on a beautiful white lounge chair with your gorgeous umbrella. Is this sunrise or sunset? What's uh, happening here? Uh, you know, that's, that's the sunset. You know, and that is, that's the time when you need a cocktail in your hand. You know, you're at the Ritz Carlton, the beach is there. But you know, these little snapshots are so important as well because they inspire you to then right. continue that feeling. We are all about designing the feel good factor. That's what that picture is. Yeah, and you guys are really purveyors of the feel good. I like, <laughs> and, and that's what I like about that. You you sort of emanate that, and we get it from you. So I part ooze of it. I what? ooze it. You mm. ooze it. Oozing, darling. You ooze. You ooze. Oh, indeed. You ooze. <laughs> part of having fun is jumping on a jet ski. I would say, <laughs> right? What, what is not City? to like about that? We went to this amazing place called Starfish Point, where you can actually go in this really shallow sandbank water. Yeah. This isn't a real starfish, incidentally. It's in case not? anybody's no. concerned, no. But you can go in the water. <laughs> and pick up these so starfish pretty. and they're so amazing and we were taken by by professional handlers so that we were respecting the environment yeah. and not being overly tactile with them but you can lift them up when they're still in the water it's one of the most beautiful things that and swimming with dolphins mm -hmm. just amazing oh, times in Grand Cayman. So now we've got this picture of, of this uh, quaint little uh, house there that you saw in uh, in the Cayman Islands so tell us a little bit about this. Well I mean again you look at that and you think okay have we just seen that earlier on in the show you know the painted white wood the yeah. beautiful turquoise, the blues in there. That's a traditional Cayman house. Yeah. We like to take lots of snaps of not just all the big hotels, but try and get into the proper heart of an island as well and its heritage and then bring that into our design. Beautiful. And that's bringing the vacation back with exactly. you. Exactly okay, so that. we went, we just came Let's back from um, Mexico and I didn't take these beautiful artistic shots. I took pictures of my kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> check them out. Oh, oh, so cute. Sydney. They had so much fun splashing around in that water and you know what the whole thing was about having some good quality family time and it really truly was and an building awesome memories break. Casey, as well for the building family. Building memories. I will always remember having Eva on my back. You know, we're in the Atlantic Ocean, we're jumping waves, she's screaming and laughing behind me and that's something that I'm going to have forever. So I think that's beautiful. Well, and the memory of your hair afterwards. And the memory of my hair. Yeah. Yes, I afterwards. It. it wasn't pretty. <laughs> so, when you do go away, if you are looking for that beach look, you want to be thinking about motifs as well. If you don't want to be so literal about bringing the beach home, yeah. right? It's, you know, it's all about updating your references as well, you know, and it's not kind of like tiddly on pom pom down by the sands, something a bit more sophisticated. <laughs> you know, I mean, a great selection here. I, mean, I love this little piece of glass here that's from Pier 1. And it's got a wonderful sandy quality and it really picks up the light yeah. and a kind of aquatic feel. You know, it's a rug by Kate uh, Thornley Hall. Little starfish, you know, from our lovely friends at Pier 1 as well. Gorgeous. And it's just about just picking up little motifs and then turning them into pieces that really matter. You know, accessories really tell a story and so does artwork. Indeed it does. And Tracy, we mentioned earlier on about the sand dollars or yeah. sea biscuits as they're also called. When we were wandering around Seven Mile Beach in Cayman, we kept coming across these lovely little white things and I had no idea at first what they were. Mm -hmm. One of the locals told me that they're sand biscuits or sea dollars. So I decided that I would take some home to, Brit to Canada and make some artwork. But they said you can't take them out of the country. So rather than be defeated, we got ourselves some of this really easy to find plastic, lovely putty, okay? Yeah. It's self-hardening, you can find it in any craft store, okay? We nobbled off a little bit and we started to flatten it out to form the shape of a naive sea biscuit. Now these little creatures are really interesting because they're almost like snowflakes, they're almost symmetrical in some places. Some of them are a little bit asymmetrical, but imagine mm -hmm. you're building it up like I've done there, okay? Mm -hmm. Then in art stores there are millions of tools that you can buy, but I find just going into the kitchen I can do all the cutting <laughs> and preening and creating that I need with these little these little knives and forks. So build yourself the shape that's familiar that you can find on the internet. Go on the internet and look up sea biscuits, look up sand dollars. Yeah, that's sure. it ready to paint. It self hardens in three hours. Painted white like so, okay? Nice. Really, really, really easy. And then you all know these frames. Box frames from yeah. IKEA. Alright, so I took this box frame. I painted the back with blue and then I scraped, dry brushed a darker blue over the top. 
Okay. I then yeah. position so nice kind of textured it's look gorgeous. On that, isn't it? yeah, position lovely. these on, glue gun them on like so, in a neat four, and off you go. You pop the frame background, and all of a sudden, you've got a, a simple, easy achieve artwork that anybody can do. That's going to take you right back to the beach in Grand Cayman. We do often say that artwork is an amazing way to uh, cherish your vacation memories, whether it's your photography or it's doing this kind of a, a replica uh, piece of art. But exactly. you should take your vacations with you, or even cutting out a map and framing of it of where you were, it's right? It's such a nice thing. So, so one of the things we like to do is, you know, people take photographs of everything. Yeah. You know, you've got all your lovely pictures of the kids on vacation. Yeah. What are you going to do with them? Are well, gonna... I actually put stuff in an album. Kids, an album hey. is a thing you look through, and there's pictures. <laughs> And you can touch the pictures. I know so many people do digital photos and they, they live in digital land forever. Yeah, I want to actually look at it in a book. Liberate your digital photography. You know, we, we actually put the photos onto the little memory stick. We put yeah. them in those electronic photo frames. Oh, and we've smart. actually, we've hardwired them onto walls before so you get a cluster of four of the frames. Yes. You can change the images all the time. And it means that your family photos, they become a living artwork. They move, they change. Your kids will love it. They'll yeah. there in front of these things like this. Ooh, ooh, there's us again. Ooh, there's me really again. Ooh. I'll tell you what we also do, Tracy. It's we, amazing. We, they build, will. we have a thing called a memory bowl, which is a beautiful big ceramic bowl, which we fill with Polaroid snapshots of everybody who visits our home, whether it's in That's Canada, so cool. at the cottage in Britain. And we add the Polaroid snapshot to our memory bowl so that when the next batch of friends arrive, they go into it, they have a little rummage around and they see what they're all yeah. about, take more shots of themselves, add it to the mix. And that's what building memories about is all for me. Is yeah. I love that, stepping into the past, and walking joyously to the future. Uh, and it's great, oh and if you've had a wee shine, I'm going to have a little beautiful. cry now, I think. Oh I may well gosh. cry. I don't even know if I can try to break. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>